Welcome to the Holborn Assets channel. In this series, we look at major events in the history of economics that helped to shape the world we live in today. If you think of anything that happened in your region this week in history, then please leave us a comment. We'd also love you to suggest other areas of economics and finance that you'd like to see videos about. Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles not only has one of the greatest names of all time, but he also signed a treaty with the Sultan of Johor on the 6th of February 1819. The agreement was to develop the southern part of Singapore Island as a British trading post run by the East India Company. Soon, the whole island was handed over and the population rocketed from about a thousand indigenous Malay people in 1819 to over 80,000 by 1860. It acted as a major trade hub, especially for the rubber market. It became independent in 1965, but there were high levels of poverty and unemployment, with people living in cramped housing and slums. So, they set up the Economic Development Board and were hugely successful in attracting foreign investment, which now makes up the vast majority of its revenue. It still acts as a trade thoroughfare, but also has a massive corporate banking institution and is beginning to develop a major biotech industry. It's often said to be the most expensive place to live in the world. While working at Texas Instruments, electrical engineer Jack Kilby filed a patent for the integrated circuit, also known as the microchip, on the 6th of February 1959. The problem at that point was that circuits, made of resistors and transistors and wires and so on, were very bulky and it was time consuming to put them together. The integrated circuit miniaturized the process and led to the boom in electronics and computing that revolutionized the world. A computer went from taking up a whole room to sitting on a table, and the advances continue. While the first chip housed just a few components, modern digital chips can hold billions. The impact on global economics is almost unlimited. Not only has the sale of electronic products dominated many industries, but the products themselves have revolutionized almost every industry, from finance to medicine to transport and every other. Probably the most famous integrated circuit producer today is Intel, who sell around half a billion chips a year. That's probably less than 1% of the world market. Joe DiMaggio was one of baseball's greatest ever players, and on the 7th of February 1949, he signed a contract to become the first player to earn $100,000 per year. Although that was a huge amount at the time, Adjusted for inflation, it was just over a million dollars. Times have changed quite dramatically since then. Major League Baseball now has a minimum salary agreement and it's 300,000. Not exactly what you think of when you hear minimum wage. American football is the biggest money spinner in terms of league revenue, with the NFL pulling in over 12 billion. However, for individual players, Soccer holds the best paid positions, with Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi being the only two sportsmen to make over $80 million a year. For both, they make about $50 million salary and the rest on endorsements. The money in soccer is largely generated through major broadcast deals. The English Premier League alone makes $2.63 billion per season from selling the TV rights across the world. The biggest sporting paydays normally go to boxers though with Floyd Mayweather Jr. taking 300 million in 2015. Women are sadly a long way behind in sports earnings. Serena Williams tops the list, making just under $30 million. And it's mostly other tennis players on the high rankings, apart from MMA fighter Ronda Rousey and stock car racer Denisha Patrick, who both make around $14 million. So, that was the week. We hope you learnt something interesting. Hit subscribe to keep updated on all our new videos, both on economic history and present day topics such as managing your money, travel insurance, personal finance and making investments. We'll see you again soon.